Unity. And this time we're gonna see the device simulator. So right now I went to my Unity Hub software and I created a new project and this time it's gonna be a 3D core. So you just click here in 3D core and just create project. So it might take a while, but this is pretty much how it should look like. So as you can see, we have this 3D object and we can move it up, we can move it down, we can move it in the in the coordinates and the X coordinate uh, and the C coordinate and also in the Y coordinate so as you can see here so let's take a look into the device simulator the section of documentation contains information about Unity's device simulator so we have this peak here we're gonna see first the device simulator introduction so okay so we're gonna check this one the device simulator introduction is a unity editor feature that simulates how your application appears and behaves on a mobile device the device simulator consists of the simulator view views your application on a simulator mobile device simulator classes test codes that respond to device specific behaviors device definitions describes the device to simulate and finally device simulator appliance configures the user interface of the simulator view so we have also the controls of the simulator view we have the, the simulator view simulates many common features of the mobile devices including auto rotation screen safe area touch um, input we have the player settings so we have the full screen resolution scaling default orientation graphics api as well as we have simulated touch input and also some limitations and the limitations are the performance characteristics of the device such as devices processor speed or available memory uh, the rendering capabilities of the device okay so we have that and um, let's see the simulated view okay so let's check out the simulated view the simulator view displays your application on a simulator mobile device. Use it to see how applications appear with the screen shape, resolution, and orientation of that device. So let's let's have a look here. So let's go into let me see. Let's go click here and create a 3D object. Let's create a a plane, a quad. Let's create a cylinder. So we have a cylinder here and okay so what's going on okay so we have created a cylinder right now okay and it's looking okay so this is how pretty much the game should uh, should be looking but right now we have pretty much nothing so we have just the cylinder here okay so let's uh, let's do something here okay so we can change into the right now I'm just rotating this cube around the X coordinate so now I'm gonna do the same but this time it's gonna be around the 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 what the Z coordinate so now we have this cube so as you can see if I rotate it now around the the Y coordinates okay so we can see it from the top now so you okay so now let's check it out this one okay so now i'm rotating it from the x coordinate so that's cool if we click here again this is how the game is how the game is gonna pretty much play out but we have nothing yet so we just have this this cube here so that's all that we have up to this point so if i press in a scale we can see the the, the cube right now see so but nothing is happening yet we only have this cube so let me see if I you can put it like that okay so what else do we have here we have the game we have okay in the game we have the simulator so okay so as you can see this is how it would look for our our telephone okay so this is a simulator so this is simulating an apple ipad mini 4 so we also have i don't know a samsung galaxy s10 so in a samsung this is how it should uh, it should be looking 
as you can see this is our simulator so let me I don't know feed to screen we can also rotate it okay so we can rotate it so now you can see the the, the little um, I mean cube that we have well the cylinder that we has added so let's see if we can add also uh, I don't know maybe a sphere as well and okay so I took it out and let me see if we go into the simulator so now well as you can see we have this we have the sphere and we have the the cylinder next to each other so there's nothing much to it but we have something here going on okay so I can rotate I can rotate the, the sphere around the, the cylinder just clicking the X coordinate so we have this and let me see if I well let me see if I just if I leave it like that and we go to the simulator okay so feed to screen okay so this is what we are gonna get so we only get that for now but let's move this one and now let's see from the y coordinate so now we can see from the top okay so now let's change it and we can see the cylinder here i mean the cylinder here and the sphere over there okay so we can zoom in what else do we have here so we have this stuff so far okay so yeah using the simulator view as we already saw it to open the simulator view do one of the following in the game view in the top left corner use the drop down menu to switch between game view and the simulator view so let me see this is no this is not the one this one okay so we have the scene view and the simulator view so we have this and also you can play i guess let me see you can also check out this one no not this one no scene edit asset game object uh components okay services windows so we have physics 2d okay so we have the 3d objects let's i don't know maybe a cube now so now we have three objects so we have a cube a cylinder and a sphere okay so if we go into the simulator again we have the we see these three objects next to each other we have the ceiling the cylinder the sphere and the cube okay so oops let me see let me see if we click it here okay so we have that so far oops okay so I'm gonna let me see click play so completing the domain the let me see the okay so now the cylinder is there but the, the sphere and also the the square or the cube is gone but okay so that is one way now we also have in the menu so you have window general and device simulator so we go into the window general what is general general and then you go into device uh device simulator so yeah that's pretty much as we already saw it okay so let me see okay so we have this one as well okay okay so let's keep moving now Unity simulates the device and the simulator view to control the simulation use the toolbar and the control panel so toolbar the toolbar is at the top of the simulator view and contains options that along with uh, the control panel control the simulation so as you can see we have the simulator and we are seeing this so you can simulate from the Apple iPad uh, mini 4 all the way down to the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 5g so you have all that so this is to scale so maybe we can click here to feed the the screen also you can rotate it so you have that okay so let's see if we can i don't know let's add something let's add maybe a, a quad okay so oops let me see 
let me grab okay so let's what is the quad now okay so i just i add this quad here and as you can see we can see the squad here in the in the in the simulator as well so it's maybe a little bit hard to see it but it's over there okay so we can make this one bigger okay so again you can play around here with the coordinates oops let me see if i move it here uh, okay so we have that that is how you get into the simulator okay so in the the toolbar at the top of the simulator we have the control in the description so we have from the game simulator view the description you this drop down menu to switch between the simulator and the view game view we have all this information here we have the control panel okay so to open the control panel click control panel on the top right corner of the toolbar okay so this is the control panel that will be uh, minimize tab bar animation and let me see we have mapping here we have local center okay so we have a control panel so we need to go into the simulator and um, okay so let me see feed to screen now control panel okay now once we hit the control panel we are gonna have this option so we have the application settings so okay the system english internal reachability so you have reachable via carrier data network okay so on low memory so you have this let me see what else do we have so uh, we also have the device similar control panel the, we have the property the description system language specifies the value to receive from so we have the device application system language we have the internet reachability and on low memory calls on low memory event okay device simulator plugins can change the appearance of the control panel and add content and control some packages like the adaptive performance package contains devices similar plugin the ui appears in the control panel if you install the package so we have this um, let me see so now we can also check out yeah let's check out the simulator classes okay so pretty much the simulator classes the device simulator provides simulator classes which you can use to test code that responds to device specific behaviors and the device simulator the following similar classes are in the unity engine device namespace so we have the application the screen the system info these similar classes have the same members as their regular Unity engine namespace counterparts. You can use them anywhere in your code base where you would normally use the regular classes. There is no performance impact and you can use them in release builds. And the editor, when the device simulator is, the emulator is active, the simulator classes mimic the, pl the platform specific behaviors of the similar device. For example, device that system info that operating system returns the Android or iOS version of the simulated version, simulated device, and appeal application or when the device simulator is active, the simulator classes have the same behavior as their counterparts in the Unity engine namespace. Although the simulated classes have the same members as the regular classes, the device simulator doesn't simulate every behavior in the Unity editor. Members of the device simulator doesn't simulate have the same behavior as their Unity engine equivalent, which is in platform dependent. For example, the device simulator doesn't simulate device that is green that brightness. This means this member has the same unedited behavior as Unity engine screen brightness, which always returns one. For information on which members of the device similar simulate, see the API documentation for the device application, device that is screen, and the device that system info. And also for the update your script to use similar classes. If you want to convert existing code to use classes from Unity engine device spaces, it's best to practice the alias directive. For example, using a screen set to the Unity that engine that device that screen, semicolon at the end. Then we have the using application set to the Unity engine that device that application, semicolon at the end. And finally, using system info set into the Unity engine that device that system info. And yeah, so pretty much this is how. I mean, if you go here and you just create your 2D or 3D core 
and yeah pretty much you can go to the window panel and then you will go to general and then to the device simulator so right now we are in the device simulator and this is how you use it so let's see if we can add i don't know maybe a uh, maybe a capsule this time so we have oops we have a capsule this time okay or you can just click this play button and it's gonna load a little bit so it might take a while but it's gonna send us to okay so maybe the, okay so let me see um, let me see okay let's click play and complete in domain and let me see it's sending us to the to the simulator okay not so far so we only have this one so far okay so complete in domain okay so we have this but let's try to add maybe now uh let me see uh a sphere let's see if we can add a sphere here okay so i want to take it out here and okay so now I, I have a sphere over there and let's check it out from the from this part so if we go into the simulator so now you can see that we have not just the not just one object but we have two objects the cylinder and the sphere right there so that's how you use the simulator